So today, uh, we're working with a uh, 1975 Mode McCain Mobilet. We're going to clean the carburetor, which will fix 90% of all the problems with your vintage bike. If you get a vintage bike like this, uh, more than likely, you know, it's got old gas in it or debris or, or rust, and uh, that accumulates in it and will um, work its way through your fuel system to your carburetor. All right, so this is the gas tank on this uh, Mode McCain. Uh, this is the fuel petcock here. It regulates the fuel from the gas tank to the carburetor. You need to make sure that's turned off before you start cleaning this or you're going to have gas all over. So turn the fuel petcock. This is the off position on this one, but it varies on each bike and they should be marked. If they're not, you can always tell by pulling the fuel petcock off and then, you know, no gas comes out, so it's off. The carburetor is held on to the motor by the manifold and the simple bolt clamps the carburetor to the manifold. So we loosen that, we reach in and we wiggle it back. The float bowl is held on with two little screws. This is your float bowl here. Um, this is where all the fuel that comes down through the carburetor settles in. Keep it upright like this so in if there is any fuel in the float bowl, it won't spill all over. And you also want to inspect that to see if there's any rust or water or anything in there. Okay. So that's the float bowl. And if you look inside there, you can see there's little particles of rust and dirt. So set that aside. Then the most important part of cleaning the carburetor is this right here. This is your main jet. All the gas that comes through your gas tank and through your fuel line and out the bowl all goes through this jet. This basically specifies how much gas gets mixed with the air and make sure your bike runs perfectly. So you loosen that. And then if you look very closely, there is a hole in the very center and that is what gets clogged and that's what makes your bike not run. So to clean it, uh, this sounds pretty gross, but it's fairly safe. Wipe it down so it's nice and clean and then you just blow through it. So that's all set. Got to put that back in the carburetor. Tighten that up. And then the old gas, like you look in it, make sure there's no water or anything. You dump that out in a little container. Just wipe it out. Just again to make sure that it's nice and clean and then you just uh, reverse what you've already done. Make sure it's uh, nice and tight so that it doesn't leak at all and then wiggle it back in there. Tighten it back up to the manifold. Just reattach the fuel line and uh, you have successfully cleaned your carburetor.